we live in America. This is supposed to be the land of the free and opportunity. And it's like... The citizens are struggling. We're struggling. This is not how Sharika Young, Damon Baker, and his daughter saw themselves spending the week before Christmas in an extended stay hotel cooking eggs in a kitchenette. And things just got worse for Sharika's family and about a dozen others who were living at the Wood Springs Suites in Fairfield. We just woke up to our money and our accounts being in the negative. So with that, it's like I have nothing. I have a negative 250, 854 on one, and I have a negative 30650 on one. Sharika showed us where the hotel took out of her account two weeks' rent on the 18th of December for the December 1st and 8th weekly room charges. But she has receipts for paying those charges already on the 1st and the 8th. She thought she was double charged, so she went to the front desk and complained. Like, you're going to have families out in the cold, sleeping in their vehicles. Children are going to go without Christmas presents. I mean, no food. When Sharika called us, we investigated. A hotel clerk told us when certain hotel guests paid their weekly room charges several weeks ago, their account showed pending payment and the money was taken from their bank accounts. But the hotel's credit card vendor never completed the transactions, so the money went back into the tenant accounts without their knowledge and the pending payment notifications disappeared. When the error was realized by the vendor, it put through the charges again without warning. Many people's accounts became overdrawn. Hi, Julie. David Winter with Local yeah. 12 News. We spoke with a representative from Sandpiper Hospitality, the company that owns Wood Springs Suites and nearly 60 other hotels across the country. While no one from the company would go on camera in a written statement, the company said charges that were closed last week were proper, valid and approved. We appreciate and value each and every guest and look forward to continuing to be of service to them. How about the people who say that they're afraid that they're not going to have the funds to pay next week's rent? The response to that question, that is all I am able to share. But when we asked whether the company would give consideration to guests who may now need more time to come up with the payments for their rooms over the next couple of weeks, the company referred us back to the written statement. It's going to be a tough holiday for, I know, 12 of us here. And we will have to wait to see what happens with Sharika's family when their room charge comes due on Christmas. Adam? Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.